This is Bon Jo Show. This is not your show. I traded the 905 for G O O O. This is Bon Jo Show. What's up, people? This is Bon Jo, and I'm out here. You know, I'm gonna actually pick this one up for this. Uh, this one's a little bit more serious. Uh, I don't know if it's funny or not, <clears throat> but it's about me. Uh, it's about drunk driving, you know, doing the stupid mistakes when you're young. You know, when you first turn 19, you think you're invincible behind that wheel until you see your buddy get cut in half from a light post, you know what I mean? That happened, that happened to me, you know? Uh, but I'm just saying like, I used to be that guy. I was the best drunk driver everybody knew, you know what I mean? I was that guy behind the wheel, uh, hustling dope and driving drunk as we go. And um, <clears throat> it's not I'm not proud of it now. At the time, I just thought I was invincible, you know? But I mean, one time, I was so drunk, I, I, the only accident I got into, when, oh, two accidents I got into when I was drunk. <clears throat> I was going into a parking spot at a, at a, at a grocery store. And uh, I was trying to get some steaks for that late night barbecue, you know what I mean? And I'm not talking about two two guys, one girl, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about actual meat on that grill, that, you know, that flame baby, killing it. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I pull up into this place, there's a an easy park, it's about one car, and the rest of the lot's open, so I decided to park beside the one car. <clears throat> and I come in like meatloaf, you know, like a bat out of hell. Just zip it in because I want to get these steaks and get some meat in my mouth real quick. You know, I'm feeling that that late night hunger. And um, so I get there and I pull in, boom! <clears throat> Smash the side of this parked car. <clears throat> like, I, you know how you pull into a parking spot? I smashed the side of this guy's parked car. You know what I mean? Like, what? There's one fucking car in this whole parking lot. And this is Bonjo. That's how we roll. We hit that car. God damn, I was thinking. And uh, just before that, I could see a police check. You know, a police check where you drive through it and they see if you've been drinking and stuff. I see that off into the distance. I'm like, oh, geez. I'm teed up, ready to go through this police check after an accident. My bumper's hanging off of my Cadillac, all black, everything. You know, that's just, uh, that's just jail time waiting to happen. So I decided to take the, the long route home. And yes, I didn't leave a note on this guy saying, I hit your car, I'll pay for it. I was a little piece of dirt back then and I just took off and this guy meanwhile this guy is just coming out like <laughs> after a shift or maybe just trying to get some steaks like me you know what I mean just trying to get some late night meat in his mouth you know at the local grocers and I'm thinking like damn that guy had a d tough night imagine him coming out like what the fuck like Macaulay Culkin and shit ah! like damn bro who did that? Ah, uh, that's some disrespectful shit. Uh, and there's a, and that, and uh, the other time I got caught. I mean, not caught, I didn't get caught. And I got away scot-free, so I mean, sometimes it's worth it to run. You know how people say, don't run, you'll always get caught by the law. The law will always catch you. Well, no, 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 no. I ran a few times and I got away. You just gotta outsmart them. Not just run, not just run into a, a wall or something. You gotta run in, into a direction that you know. This other time, I was at Gulliver's campground for my cousin Jay's birthday. And I was in a Honda Accord. Uh, my first car. And uh, that's the one I got into an accident when I hit that old lady. Well, she hit me. She went through red light and smashed me. And uh, my ex-girlfriend at the time broke her, uh, her collarbone. Good riddance. I was hoping she broke her spinal. I wish it was spinal damage. Like Mike Tyson, you know? But anyways, we were at Gulliver's. And this guy, and I'm like, yeah, let's go. Me and my buddy Adam Stokes, at the same party, my buddy Adam Stokes got wedgied, and he started crying like, you, you took my manhood to this other guy, Jay Secor, because Jay Secor wedged him. And Adam Stokes has these tiny little ears, like, we used to call them satellite ears, because they're so tiny and satellites are big, so it'd be funny instead of, you know, you usually call people big ears, but it's funny because we're calling him big ears because he has small ears. I don't know. So, yeah, he, meanwhile, he's crying like, you took my manhood. So we go in my car. I feed this dude a half a gram. He starts sniffing and he's crying. He's telling me what he's, he's going to try to fight the guy. But Jay is too smart. He's not going to beat up a little pussycat, you know. 
and uh and i'm like yeah i'm sober and then i run right over a log and my car gets stuck over a log because i was too hammered there's my other time and there's some drunk driving stories hope you enjoyed those little stories i know i was a little all over the place but i get too excited telling stories don't make and make sure you buy that merch too yeah buy that merch at uh, teespring.com slash uh this is bonjo and also if you want to donate money let me know you know you want to send me a few gifts send me a few gifts i'll give you guys my address send me some fan art whatever and also put in those videos about your crazy stories we'd love to hear from y'all so far i got a few guys we're gonna have a couple arsenal stories uh, uh upcoming we're still waiting for a stupid tourist indian terry and muff disciple to send in their stories but uh they're my boys they should have sent them in a long time ago I don't know what y'all waiting for. Thank you. And this is Bungeon. I'm out here on Chiova. Look at this beauty.